the fluffy store while I had to look at the top card and read the title of the series. <laughs> I don't even know what episode I'm on. Hey, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> so here we go. Still think this guy should have thought of. It been one of the first things this guy should have thought of. <laughs> Fine, let's do it! No. I want to see people fail and chaos to happen. <laughs> and jokes to incur. <laughs> I'd better buy the tools and the materials for the nut notice board immediately. You could also contact a professional? Once I've brought, bought the materials, I return to the store. Sherry deterred. Uh, D darted out from the shelves and greeted me with a smile when I stepped inside ha, you flew it was me she walked away with distress with distaste after she saw me bitch <laughs> no <laughs> It is such a waste of energy for you to welcome our manager with a smile. <laughs> I walk directly into the storage area while carrying the materials for the no uh, for the notice board. Sherry seeing uh, screams from behind. Yeah. Now I know you're being a bitch. <laughs> I ignore her and talk to Pern behind the checkout counter. How's business? Now I know. All right. It's still in getting it's still not getting better. I will set it on fire and make use of it. We must save electricity and shit set shit on fire or we ain't gonna have this store for much longer. I want to make a notice board and put it outside. I still think that it's this it should have been an idea in the, to begin with. Sherry would specially chip in and emphasize this part. <laughs> okay, keep it up, both of you. Or I'll slowly start reaching my hand towards the shotgun of self-protection. <laughs> I put the materials in the bat in the uh, on the ground, uh, and sound of wooden boards hitting the ground echo far through the storage area. Puff. No response. It seems she isn't at the warehouse. Did she go to the bathroom? I spread out the materials, one by one. The wooden boards are a bit heavy. After I've taken all the materials out of the bag and checked them, Bob is still nowhere to be seen. I thought she could help me, now I can only do it myself. Don't tell me she's sleeping. <laughs> The toolbox should have been here, but why can't I find it? I start to search around the warehouse. That's because stuff is going on, Cherry. Cherry stuck her head out from the doorway. Ah, it, is it too loud? I'll be a bit softer. Okay, thank you for telling me that, because I could easily tell without looking. 
But if it's too noisy, it'll scare the customers away. Yeah, it'll take time. I have to find the freaking toolbox. I want to, but I can't find the toolbox after searching for so long. Oh, oh, oh. No wonder why I can't find it. Thank you. I'm not that dumb. Frickin' asshole. I'm trying to think you're all high and mighty. Why the hell doesn't this guy have a shotgun, goddammit? <laughs> How did I get such an employee who makes fun of their manager from morning till night? Okay, you deserve to get shot. <laughs> I also cannot fire you, so have fun! Fine, I'll go grab the toolbox. And you hurry up and get back to work. No one's fight no one fights me from our position. I throw shit at everyone! <laughs> you only throw shit at me, you asshole! I shoot a cherry out of the warehouse. Dusted off the wooden chips on my body and walked out. As I also move the cursor to kinda uh, be a little more in the center of the screen. When I went upstairs, I entered the living room. I saw Puff laying face down on the couch. And she's also swinging her two legs. Two long legs, to be specific. Puff, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm not going to question anything. Although she saw me coming, she didn't panic. And when, at all, when I got her loafing around, she also tilted her head and looked at me. <laughs> she yawned in my direction and answered lazily while reading a book. I raised my eyebrow. She's, she's right in her logic. Having no customers mean we don't we didn't sell anything, and she doesn't didn't need to replenish anything. But I'm just upset. No. Puff looked at my face closely. With interest when she saw my face become red. Get up and go to the warehouse with me. We'll need we'll make a notice board. Does it matter? Okay, it does matter, because you also want to know what's at the part of the book. But too bad. Puff becomes annoyed and waves the book in, in her hand in her hand around. Don't worry, people have told it's happened to me too. Can't complain too heavily. But instead of books, it was video games. Actual legit video games. Ratchet and Clank, most likely. <laughs> Cause I know some of you would want to know. It's working hours right now. You can read at any time after work hours. I can't take it anymore. I went, want to respond. It reminded her to tell her it's working. Wrong to be lazy at work. And it's inappropriate with others. <laughs> Well, this is the advantage of work. You have to work. 
<laughs> Even if you have nothing to do, you have to do something. And there goes all the managers just going, Yes, you are right, but you're still a dumbass. What the hell do you do? Fuck, you're right. <laughs> I wait till like last night to do this shit. <laughs> yes, I do do shit earlier. And then lazy out. <laughs> don't judge me. I have nothing better to do. I don't edit much. <laughs> Buff wor Buff's words are looking, are like piercing cold water in a boiling water. And my anger subsides. She is right. Well, he suddenly raised, realized I've been asking too much from them. I didn't rest. I didn't rest, and I didn't let them rest either. Although their workload, when they they're working, isn't heavy, they hardly have any free time to themselves. Should I arrange some day off for them too? Put the book aside first. Everyone will let. Uh, we'll have one day off this week. Eh, can't judge too hardly. After some thought, I re I raised my head and said to Puff, "Although this isn't enough, our store currently the current state doesn't allow me to be more generous." <laughs> Why the weekend? <laughs> Any day of the week could be the weekend. <laughs> Just don't go for my job. Uh, any work that's on the week. Okay. Sometimes that's needed. I can't say anything, damn it. <laughs> weekend is the last day of the week. I check my phone and realize today is Thursday. No, Tuesday. Yeah. Let's put it this way it the day after tomorrow. We'll have the day off. I exhale. It's ex it's <laughs> It's actually to explain to her. No, it's not. Don't judge me. Yes, yes, great puff. It's my fault. Okay, now you're praising all the girls. Well, that's pretty much any day off. I just don't go outside since. It's horf horrific out there. <laughs> she asked me carefully, after some hesitation. Does Puff want to go outside? <sighs> eh. You can't complain too much, everything is practically the same outside. <laughs> She drooped her ears, and we didn't speak for a while. It's fine for me, but... <sighs> don't judge me. I don't freaking know, I'm not fantastic with, ja with uh, being a boss. I'm not even a boss! Do the fucking grunt work, what the hell? <laughs> Since it's a day off, of course, we'd have nothing to do with our shop. I just think we have to ask Pern and Sherry about it. You all can s uh, separate, so it'd be it's better to find something that everyone likes. I finished with her for before she did. <laughs> eh. Doesn't matter to me. Either way, I need to get more employees after that. <laughs> Pretty much all 
see you guys next time, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful day. As I question why I'm still doing this series and dealing with furries. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all got all of you have fun. See you guys next time.